Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a eye tutorial for you today, which is loosely inspired by my new beautiful nails. I'm obsessed with them. I went for the chrome nails, you know what they're called? Chrome metallic finish, whatever you want to call them. So they're duo chrome. They look purple in one light and then green in the other light. I'm just obsessed with them. So that's kind of what I somewhat recreated on my eyes. Not the duo chrome, they're like just two different tones. But um, the green I used is a different tone, but I kind of prefer khaki green to um, this like whatever you call this emerald green um, emerald green um but yeah that was the loose inspiration and um, this isn't a sponsored video but i am going to take this little portion um as an ad as a reminder to anyone that i have my zoeva event in matter flaherty chemists next thursday which is the 29th of october and there are still tickets left if anyone would like to come so i'm going to be hosting a masterclass from seven to roughly half eight or nine in the evening um showcasing um, the zoeva products because zoeva is now on sale in matter party chemists on william street in galway and it's the only place stocking it in ireland which is fantastic so i will be there um for that masterclass and also from about 2 p.m that day if anyone is in galway they'd like to pop in and say hello and see the products um if you would like to come to the masterclass though the link to where to buy the tickets will be below. It's only 10 euro, but it is redeemable against Zoeva products on the night. So that is brilliant. Now, moving on to this tutorial. I didn't cover the base, uh, like my foundation and that. I'll let you know what I used in the end, but because my last two videos were base uh, foundation videos, I decided not to bother. And I did use all Zoeva, yeah, all Zoeva eyeshadows, but my Zoeva eyeshadows are depotted into this guy. So I let you know what, colour I'm using and also what palette it's from as I'm using it um, throughout the tutorial because they're all mixed up so um, I'm kind of dipping into whichever one but I think there's like hold on one two three four palettes in here yeah there's four different palettes in here I wish I had space for the cocoa blend but alas I don't um, I love this though I, pr I could probably actually like fit in one more row yeah, I could probably fit in one more row if I moved everything down a bit, but I like it how it is. Um, totally off track. But anyhow, yeah, this is a slightly darker, moodier, uh, autumn-inspired makeup tutorial, eye tutorial. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Keep watching if you want to see how this is done. So the first colour I'm going to use is this guy. It's just a really lovely um, highlight without being too white and it is matte it is naturally yours no it's first love from the naturally yours palette um love the payoff with this Partic particularly it being matte it does um go on quite strong for what it is and i'm using a classic shader brush this is number 232 and then just to add a tiny bit of a lift directly underneath the brow um because I do have them quite straight underneath my arch. I don't pluck them as arched as I used to. This is Galaxy from the Retro Future palette. Uh, this one is a star white, so I'm literally just popping that there in the center. Don't wanna go too crazy with it. And then for my lid color, I know it's not the exact same green as on my fingers, but um, I don't have like a forest green from the Zoeva palettes and I just wanted to stick with the Zoeva colors. I do love yeah, this is more of like a khaki green. I love khaki greens, probably even more than the forest greens. This is called bronze, even though it's not very bronze, it's more of a green, um, but it's called bronze. I suppose bronze is a greenish color though. Um, bronze from the mixed metal palette again, and I'm gonna pop that over the moving part of my lid. Um, you can of course use an eyelid primer with these. I just find there's no need. You can see there that it sticks very well as is. If you have very oily lids, um, maybe do put on a base if you feel like it, but otherwise I don't really find a need. Then also from the mixed metal palette, I'm gonna go in with Neo Brass. Um, oh yeah, that's why it's called bronze because it's the mixed metal ones. <laughs> I forgot that. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop this in the center. It just gives a little bit more dimension and a bit more of a pop. Um, still kind of a khaki green lemon green kind of lime green whatever you want to call it um i love those metallic colors though and i'm actually going to jump down to the lower lid now and using cosmic chic from the retro future palette um this is a real like insane intense purple i'm going to apply that underneath the lower lash line 
I love greens and purples together. Like green and red are obviously complementary and purple and yellow are obviously complementary. But green is still opposite purple in the colour wheel, very much so. So they do offer um, similar results when you place them side by side. They will still kind of pop. I'm actually going to apply a little bit more underneath this side because I love that purple. I want it to stand out. Um, I'm not sure if this made a difference, but I'm going to do it because I did it on the other eye. This is Time Travel from the Retro Future. It's just a matte lilac. Literally just applied a tiny bit along the bottom to help blend it out. And then for my inner corner, this is a beautiful highlight. It kind of gives a really subtle gold. It is called Casual Elegance and it is from the Naturally Yours. The Naturally Yours palette is gorgeous. Go on the Zoeva, Zoeva website if you want to see what these actually look like in the palettes. Um, the Naturally Yours is, like as you'd imagine, it is quite a neutral palette. Natural neutral. I love having the freedom of just having all the colours in this one big palette, which is great. Um, although I don't have space for my Cocoa Blend colours, so I might have to start a new palette and get more Zoeva palettes <laughs> to fill it up. Um, anyhow, now that I have that much done, I'm going to go in to this matte black. It's called Onyx and it's from the Mixed Metals. It's just a full-on matte black. I'm just going to start applying that to the outer corner and a tiny bit here on the inner corner as well. This is the Petite Crease Brush. I love this. I use this a lot. Um, definitely one of my favourite eye brushes. And then using the Lux Crease. These are all from different um, collections, just in case you're wondering. They're all different colours, but you can get them in loads of different collections. I'm going to go into this beautiful transition colour. This is called... Uh, luster, yeah, luster, and it's from the rose golden. Um, that was a bit quick. There, you can have a look at it. There, it's just a really. It kind of reminds me. I think of malt. Is that the color by Mac? It's just a really light, kind of beigey brown, like a browned beige. And I'm gonna apply that over the crease, almost as a transition color. Well, it is a transition color, but I want to apply that before I start building up the black. It's just kind of easier to. Um, um, to blend a darker colour over a light colour. So it's easier to put on your light colour first and then blend the black over it. And you'll lose less of the black as well. So if you were to do it the other way around where you apply the black first and then go in with your transition colour, um, that will help blend it out but you'll also lose a lot of black. I always have to tilt my head right back when I'm doing these kind of looks because my crease, um, how would I put it, my eyes are so sunken, I have such deep set eyes that it's too much of a shadow. I mean, you can see there, you can't even see my lids. So I need to pop the head back and do my business. My eyes are going to be back in the back of my skull by the time I'm 50, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Um, I'm just going to go back in with a tiny bit of the transition shade, go around the black, don't go over the black, I don't want to lose um, the colour. And then go back in with black if you want to intensify that again. And I'm putting the head back down because I want to see how far the black comes up as I'm looking straight on. So feel free to move your head around. It is on a swivel after all, more or less. Uh, so take advantage of that. Um, I think because of the limeish green or the khaki green or whatever you want to call it on the centre, it kind of mixes with the black and it looks almost like a very blackened green, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of what we're going for. Um, yeah, gotta leave it at that. And then going into a much smaller brush, this guy I adore. It is the 237 Detail Shader. Um, this is a really teeny, tiny, 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 tiny eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to, I always have like a really wide eyed look when I'm doing this, but I'm just gonna apply that to my lower lash line, very close to the lash bed. And next actually, while I have this brush, I can intensify, because it's like obviously more tightly packed and smaller than the petite crease, you can definitely intensify anywhere where you want the black to be more, Intense. Oh, 
that would be literally just either side of my lid lids even and then I kind of skipped ahead but I'm popping the black coal pencil the soft coal pencil from the Zoeva black box this is in uh, the eyeliner noir into the waterline I'm going to tight line with that as well so I just close my eyes and then like carefully drag the pencil along and I'm going to get a little mirror for this but I'm also going to use this pencil um, as eyeliner rather than using a liquid for a change and I'm undoing the um, outer half of my top lid kind of starting in the center and then really bringing it almost straight out so it gives a really lovely lift to the eye it makes them seem a little bit more upturned um, I'm gonna go I'm going to go back into that teeny tiny detail shader with the black eyeshadow and press that over the top just to again intensify that line and then blend it into the outer corner then for mascara I'm going to use Catrice oh this is German as well I just realized we was German Catrice is German <laughs> um Catrice Cosmetics Glam and Doll False Eyelash Mascara or False Lashes Mascara this is the lilac one because I originally got the darker purple one of this um, and I do prefer the bristles on this so we're going to apply plenty of that to the top lashes and to the bottom lashes as well and I got some mascara up here for my lashes from looking up so I'll actually let those tiny little bits dry and then I'll go over with my blending brush um, and that should just make them flake off so try and avoid getting at any um, messed up mascara straight away because it will just smudge the trick is to let it dry before you try to get rid of it and don't hook up like I did and this eye is coming out way nicer than that eye was for mascara that always happens I always have one eye where the lashes look amazing and then the other one it just looks a bit well usually it's the first one that comes out good but I think I prefer how this one came out and of course feel free to apply lashes if that floats your boat you know I just don't tend to bother with lashes I think if you have decent lashes flaunt them good mascara is all you need and as expected they just flaked off so always let your mascara dry if you do make a boo-boo okay and then just to finish off the eyes quickly I got this recently it is the NYX micro brow pencil it's in the auburn color because I actually like to add a little bit of warmth to my brows I mean it's not ridiculously so but because I have warmth here towards the ends um, my eyebrows are ever so slightly cooler in tone in a, in a like in brown than my hair anyhow so that's why I like to use the auburn so I'm just gonna run that lightly through my brows I don't go too heavy because I don't want them to look too brown uh, red rather but I'm obsessed with this pencil such a good alternative to the more expensive like Smashbox one or um, the MAC even the Soap and Glory one that I love um, this is even cheaper because it's only 10 euro okay so like I said I will just let you know what I used on my base at the end uh, because my last two videos were base videos or base routine videos for my lips though I'm using the number 17 new look pure color lip liner I love this as like a really true nude lip liner I think I've been using this a lot lately so I should really branch out but this is a really really good um, kind of warm nude and then okay I'm trying to decide which new lipstick to go for I think I want to go quite nude do I want this guy this or this this or this <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this one. This is the Mineral Rich uh, Lipstick in Lux Natural by MAC. This one um, is 23 Mink by New Look as well. But I think I'm going to go with the MAC one. Something about it that's a little bit more in like tone with my hair. And these MAC uh, Mineralized Lipsticks are amazing actually if you have dry lips. And I have very dry lips at the moment. Oh, I caved and put on the heat today as well. 
Um, I was worried we wouldn't have enough left over from last year, but there seems to be enough in there. So I gave it a blast there for a couple hours and it's heaven in here because it's really cold at the moment here. The aim was to try and stick out for the extra week so we'd get into October, but it didn't last. And there is the finished look. So I'll run quickly through what I used on my base. Um, I used, again, a Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Blur, Anti-Shine Blur Stick. Um, I'm still only trying this out, don't know what I feel about it. It seems to be decent, it doesn't overly mattify me. So that's good, I suppose. But I don't know if it maybe even has enough of a mattifying property for like oily areas. So we'll have to see how that how that goes. But I like the handiness of this, how you can just like draw it on where you need it, use your fingers to blend it in. It is handy and it was very inexpensive as well. So that is my primer. Um, I am trying out an Elizabeth Arden foundation. This is the Flawless Finish Perfectly Nude Liquid Foundation with an SPF of 15. Uh, my first time using any Elizabeth Arden foundation. So this is number two Alabaster. I don't know if there's even a paler one, but this is pale. Like this is matches my neck perfectly. Um, I just realized I forgot to put my rings on for the whole tutorial. Um, then for my contour in that, of course I used the Zoeva, what do you call this? The Contour Spectrum Palette. So this was shown in my last video, so that's why I didn't show that again. But I do love this. I actually used the darker color as my blush, and I kind of like it. And then the, the lighter contour as my contour, of course. Um, for my powder, I used the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder, which broke, which is a pain in the backside. Actually, I think I'll just tip out the broken bits because that'll save a little bit of heartbreak and there's still enough of it left. Um, but I love that, that's a great one for giving a nice matte uh, even finish. And what's left? I think that's it as far as base goes, isn't it? It wasn't much. Oh, and then of course I used the Zoeva Concealer Spectrum, which again I showed in last week's video um, as well for anywhere that needed to be concealed. And yeah, that's it. I'll leave a full list of products below. Um, and let you know, of course, which palettes the various colours came from, from the different Zoeva colours. Um, but yeah, I like this. Not quite the same as my nails, but you know, it has the same general feel to it. I don't know, I like it. It's kind of Halloween, kind of, without being like the obvious orange. Um, and kind of, well, it's quite aut autumnal. Um, I always struggle with that word, but yeah, I like these darker darker, moodier looks. I think they're fun. Anyhow, I'll leave it at that guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Have a really lovely weekend and make sure you take care of yourselves. So, slán. Bye guys.